welcome back to another video guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my updated chibi butter hair recipe and with me i have chibi powder i have extra virgin olive oil i have two bottles here because one is almost out so i just decided to use a little that was left at home i have lavender essential oil i have coconut oil and also my hair good oil and these are the oils that i'm going to be mixing together and with me i have my melted shea butter and cocoa butter so to proceed i also have water which is the original moisturizer for this hair butter so into my melted shea butter and cocoa butter I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of my shea bay powder three to four tablespoons you could go ahead to add as much or as less as you would if you are using more shea butter and cocoa butter definitely you would be needing more of the chibi powder and if you'll be using less you would need less of the chibi powder so you're just going to go ahead and add as required okay so for my olive oil just like i said earlier um i was almost out of this bottle so i decided to use from the one that was at home basically works the same way so i went ahead to add three more tablespoons from the one i had at home and then I proceeded to adding my coconut oil into this and for the coconut oil I went ahead to add three tablespoons of my coconut oil into this melted shea butter and cocoa butter and after which I went ahead to add my hair growth oil into this now for my hair growth oil I used two tablespoons of my hair growth oil because it's a blend of spices in there so I didn't want to um, use too much of it and for my lavender essential oil I went ahead to add four drops of this now if you're making in a very large quantity you want to go ahead to add more of each of these oils that I have added and also you want to use more shea butter and cocoa butter now while we do this I think it's not too late to welcome my viewers and subscribers thank you so much for watching this video for stopping by to watch this video if it's your first time here and for my old subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel thank you so much for watching this video everybody please go ahead to give this video a thumbs up as it helps the engagement here on my channel it helps my videos reach a wilder audience thank you very much so after which i went ahead to sieve now for sieving you just want to pour your mixture through a sieve and ensure that less particles flow in through your sieve and after sieving you want to put this into a refrigerator and allow it to cool down in there now when you bring it out of your refrigerator this is what you'll be having and you're just going to proceed to whipping this up together so you want to whip and whip and whip till you get a very nice consistency from this now I realized that my bowl that I was using was quite small so I had to transfer into a bigger bowl and after transferring into the bowl I went ahead to put this into my freezer to allow it solidify again before I proceed to whipping it again so this time around I think I left it for a little bit longer and it became very very solid so I had a hard time trying to whip this together but then you know we just have to make something work i have to use a spoon to break this out so i could be able to whip it together so you want to whip and whip and whip basically it so while we're whipping this up let's proceed to talking about the benefits of each and every one of these ingredients for our hair for the benefit of our first ingredient which is chibi powder chibi powder helps retain length by strengthening your hair follicles and preventing them from breaking thereby retaining length and promoting hair growth chippy powder also helps to lock in moisture as earlier I mentioned reduce breakage and could also be used mildly for exfoliating the scalp I also have a video where I use chippy powder for exfoliating my scalp you could go ahead and check that in the description box now to the benefits of olive oil olive oil could add softness and strength to hair by penetrating the hair shaft and preserving moisture 
To the benefits of coconut oil, the lauric acid in coconut oil has nourishing properties that are especially prone to soak into the strands of your hair. Coconut oil absorbs into your hair quickly, providing moisture to tame frizz and heal breakage. To the benefits of lavender essential oil, lavender essential oil is popularly known for its scent and fragrance that it gives to mixtures when it's been added to them another benefit of lavender oil is that it helps thicken your hair so if you are looking to thicken your natural hair the very best essential oil to begin to add into your mixtures your creams your sprays your um, butters and all of that is lavender essential oil as it is known for its thickening of your hair and then another benefit of lavender essential oil is the fact that it helps with hair growth now to the benefits of shea butter the anti-inflammatory qualities and fatty acids contained in shea butter supply essential nutrients that help to treat scalp conditions improve the overall health of the scalp this will in turn strengthen your hair follicles reduce hair loss and make your hair grow thicker now this is no news that shea butter is actually a very good um, strengthener and also a very good moisturizer for natural hair so to the next butter which we use which is cocoa butter cocoa butter is quite a very hard butter if you go to the market it's so so different from your shea butter from looking at it alone and then also when you get to touch it it's quite hard it's a hard butter compared to shea butter the benefits of cocoa butter one moisturizes the hair makes scalp soft improving hair growth adds shine to the hair making them glossy makes hair manageable strengthens hair shaft reduces hair fall it improves hair texture affected by chemicals and heat treatment increases hair volume so if you have issues with heat on your hair probably heat damage you're experiencing heat damage a very good butter to consider is cocoa butter now after all the whipping and whipping you could see that i added water at some point that's to add the natural moisturizer to this and at the end of all the whipping i went ahead to transfer this into a jar so thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you did learn one or two things from this video and if you did please go ahead to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever and i'm going to do my very best to answer your questions now for application it's basically easy you just go ahead to patch your hair if you decide to braid your hair up or twist your hair up you could go ahead to do that after applying this to your hair so thank you very much guys see you guys in my next video bye bye